English musician and songwriter Robert Plant gained prominence as the lead vocalist of the legendary rock band Led Zeppelin. Plant's distinctive and impressive vocal abilities marked by his powerful range and trademark high-pitched singing style have earned him recognition as one of the all-time greatest singers in the history of rock and roll. In 2009, a poll conducted by Planet Rock radio station even named him the top voice in the genre. Today, we're exploring the luxurious lifestyle of Robert Plant. In 2006, Hit Parader magazine crowned Robert Plant as the ultimate metal vocalist of all time. Additionally, Rolling Stone magazine ranked him as the 15th best singer in their 2008 list of the 100 greatest singers ever. Robert Plant, whose full name is Robert Anthony Plant, was born on August 20th, 1948 in West Bromwich, England, making him 74 years old at the time of this video's recording. Standing at 6 feet or 1.854 meters tall, he is widely recognized for his piercing vocals. His biggest musical influences were the legendary Elvis Presley and Jim Morrison, the frontman of The Doors. Plant is a devoted fan of Wolverhampton Wanderers Football Club, having supported them since he was just five years old. In 2009, he was even named the club's vice president. In addition to his musical pursuits, Plant takes an active interest in Welsh history. After Led Zeppelin disbanded, Jimmy Page prohibited anyone else from singing Stairway to Heaven. Page believed that Robert Plant was the only one capable of doing the song justice. Interestingly, Plant shares his birthday with Phil Linnett, the late bass player and lead vocalist of Thin Lizzy. Among the more peculiar awards he has received was the title of having the best chest in rock, as bestowed upon him by the readers of the magazine Rock Scene in Chesterama. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Robert Plant made a generous donation towards frontline medical supplies. He contributed the funds to a small clothing manufacturing company in Kidderminster, England, which produces scrubs for local hospitals through a GoFundMe page. On March 15, 2022, Plant appeared on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs as a guest. His musical selections for the show included I Ain't Superstitious by Halden Wolf and Ohio by Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Plant's musical style has been a major influence on many of his contemporaries, such as Geddy Lee, Wilson Sammy Hagar, and later rock vocalists like Jeff Buckley and Jack White who have emulated his unique performing style. From 1968 to 1983, Robert Plant was married to Maureen Wilson. The couple had three children together, including daughter Carmen in 1968, son Carrick in 1962, and son Logan in 1979. Tragically, Carrick passed away from a stomach virus in 1977 while Plant was on tour with Led Zeppelin. Devastated by his loss, Robert wrote All My Love as a tribute to his beloved son. Starting in 2010, Robert Plant began a romantic relationship with the singer-songwriter Patty Griffin. In a July 2012 interview with The Independent, Plant claimed that he eloped and ran off to Texas with his band of joy co-vocalist American singer Patty Griffin. However, Plant's UK-based manager later clarified to E! News that Robert was merely being playful when he used the term eloped and that he and Patty Griffin are not married. Instead, Plant was referring to the fact that he had been living with her in Texas. Robert Plant and Patty Griffin split up in 2014, after which Plant returned to England. He grew up in Halesowen, Worcestershire, with his mother Annie, father Robert, who were a civil engineer and Royal Air Force veteran respectively, and sister Allison. Even as a child, Robert had a passion for singing and music and idolized Elvis Presley, emulating him at the young age of 10. Plant attended the King Edward VI Grammar School for Boys, but he left in his mid-teens and developed a deep interest in blues music. At his father's urging, Robert Plant began training to become a chartered accountant, but quit after only two weeks. He moved out of his parents' home at 16 and attended college, immersing himself in the local blues scene. To support him, he worked at Woolsworth in Helsowen and a construction company called Wimpy in Birmingham. 
Plant recorded three singles with CBS Records and sang with various bands, including Crawling King Snakes, which eventually led him to meet his future Led Zeppelin bandmate John Bonham. Plant and Bonham were also in a band called Band of Joy before they joined Led Zeppelin. Robert Plant and Jimmy Page crossed paths in 1968, when Page was seeking a lead vocalist for his group The New Yardbirds. Plant caught Page's attention after performing Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane. The New Yardbirds eventually evolved into Led Zeppelin, with Plant taking on the role of lead singer. The band signed a contract with Atlantic Records and released their eponymous debut album in 1969 which peaked at number 6 on the UK charts and number 10 on the US charts. Over the years, Led Zeppelin released 8 more studio albums before disbanding after the death of John Bonham in 1980 due to pulmonary aspiration. After Bonham's death, Plant, Page and Jones have occasionally reunited for performances, sometimes with John's son Jason on drums. Page and Plant also collaborated on two albums, no Quarter and Walking into Clarksdale and toured together in the 1990s. Plant released his first solo album, Pictures at Eleven, in 1982, which went certified platinum. He went on to record five more solo albums before forming the band Strange Sensation. In June 2019, Robert Plant initiated the Digging Deep podcast where he examines a distinct track from his past catalog in each episode. Following the success of their collaborative album Raising Sand, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss teamed up again in 2021 to release Raided the Roof, a 12-track studio album produced by T-Bone Burnett. During the 1970s, Robert Plant achieved tremendous success as the frontman of Led Zeppelin and cultivated an iconic persona as a charismatic rock star akin to his peers such as Roger Daltrey of The Who. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, Freddie Mercury of Queen, and Jim Morrison of the Doors. With Led Zeppelin, he sold an estimated 200 to 300 million records. After Led Zeppelin, Robert's highest grossing solo album was Now and Zen, released in 1998, which achieved triple platinum status in the US and gold in the UK. In 1982, Robert made more than $1.5 million from his album pictures at 11. The following year, he earned $1.3 million from his album The Principle of Moments in the UK and US alone. In 1984, he collaborated with the Honey Drippers and released Volume 1, which helped him earn $1.2 million from the US alone. Robert earned $1.62 million from his collaborative album Raising Sand in 2007. With a current net worth of $200 million, he currently resides in Chatterford near Beardsley, located in the Wire Forest district of Worcestershire. Prior to this, he lived in a house in Monmouthshire, Wales, which boasted nine bedrooms, six bathrooms, and over 9,000 square feet of living space. This estate is famously known as the Argode. The Argode estate sits on 10.9 acres of land and dates back to the 1860s. The stone house is surrounded by exquisitely maintained grounds, with several private gardens and an arboretum. The estate features five reception rooms, a fully furnished attic, numerous fireplaces, and a guest house. Additionally, the estate includes a 1948 GMC 3100 pickup, a 1959 Chrysler Imperial Crown, a 1965 Aston Martin DB5, a Jaguar XJ, a 1972 Buick Riviera boat tail, and a 1985 Mercedes AMG W126. Are you a fan of Led Zeppelin? What's your favorite Zeppelin song? Comment your answers below! Thank you so much for watching! If you haven't already, click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to Luxury Realm!